here with Leo Santa Cruz. Leo, talk about um, talk about how everything's been, man. How's um, you know, you're you're training, you're active right now. Yeah, no, everything been you know going slow, you know. Uh, right now, I've been coming to the gym, not training hard. Uh, just doing you know a couple of minutes work with my brother, with my dad right here, learning, learning new things. And because you know we get waiting for a date, a flight, and I already talked to my team. And they said that I'm gonna fight in November for sure. I'm gonna fight in November. We don't know yet exactly the date, but we know that in November and the opponent, we're starting the opponent. We're seeing whose opponents are available and we're gonna be but we for sure gonna fight in November. You've been you've yeah. been out of the ring for quite some time. I know in January was when you had your last fight. Um, talk about that fight. And uh, talk about your opponent. I know, I know he just recent the last opponent you had, he just recently fought this past weekend. Yeah. Um, how was that fight? You know, it was a fight, you know, uh, Rafael Rivera is a tough fighter. He comes forward to fight, he's aggressive, and he's always um, trying to, you know, be on top of you. And me, I just, you know, I was just, you know, I tried to you please the fans. I stayed right there with him, and, you know, I took some shots. But it was, I, you know, I could have moved, I could have boxed him easily and keep him on the outside. But I wanted to, you know, do an entertaining fight for the fans. It was tough, but, you know, uh, we got the win, and now we want to fight, you know, we want to unify. We want to win another title, or another division, so we're gonna see what happens. What have you been doing this whole time? I mean, it's, you've been inactive. Yeah. I mean, you've been you've been training. You've been you know, what have you been doing on your on your on this free time? You know, learning new things. You know, uh, learning new things here in the gym and trying to work a little bit my power. You know, now that we want to move up and win 130, we've been doing a little bit weight, not heavy, because we don't want to get big or slow. We're still you know working on our speed, but we're doing a little bit weight and trying to get a little bit more like. Uh, right here, when we're hitting the bag or when doing the mitts, we do the punches more uh, calm but with more power. We're trying to put exactly like the perfect punches. You mentioned, you know, you, this this is gonna be your next fight's gonna be at still at 126, or are you gonna move up? Uh, we're gonna see if we can unify or something. We're gonna try to uh, 26. If we can unify, if not, we wanna move up to 130 already and just see if we could try for a title. The move up to you, your body's pretty much telling you 130 already. Well, the truth, no, it's not, it's not my body. It's, yeah, you know, every time I move up in weight, it's because I want to. Because you know, okay. I want to, I want to try another division. I want to win another title. You want a more challenge? Yeah, my first, my, you know, my the first time my goal was just to win a world title. I thought it was only gonna be at one division, but then my goals grew. My, you know, my dreams got bigger, and I, I want to be a two division world champion. I became two division world champion, and then the. The, to become a third division world champion, the opportunity came, so I said, let's go for it. And now I want to be a fourth division world champion. You know, I want to be remembered as a multi division champion, and because you know those, how the greats do, and I want to be one of the greats. Yeah. You mentioned, you know, you wanted to unify at 126. There, yeah. There's a lot of champions. Yeah. I know uh, Valdez was one of them, but yeah, he I mentioned know. too he, that he's he's going up yeah, in weight. Yeah, he's going up in so, um, You know, and uh, you got other champions at 130. You know, what do you. What do you possibly see for yourself at 130? What champs or who do you? Well, 130, you know, I see Javante Davis. He's right there. He's the he's the one with, over here with you know PBC and them. So I think a fight with them will be really good. You know, I see the Mexican Brichet. Brichet. Yeah, okay. Brichet. Uh, I see a fight with him. And also Oscar Valdez. Now that he moved up in weight, uh, we could fight him too again. You know, because we were in the the one division, 126. We wanted to fight. It didn't happen. So now we're gonna try to fight again. That division 130, and then I also Tyron Farmer, but he's with Eddie Hearn with them. I don't know if the fight could happen, but it's you know right there too. So there's all the champions right there 130. A lot of good champions yes. at 130. I mean, either even yes. at 126 too. Yeah. But I mean, looking ahead, like you yeah. said, you want to go to 130. Yeah. Uh, let's let's talk about Gervonta because yeah. I know a lot of people have been interested in that fight with Gervonta, yeah. not just you. Yeah. Um, what is it that you see in Gervonta that you guys just say we want that fight? We we know we could yeah. do it. I think because you know he hasn't fight a fighter that throws a lot of punches that's pressuring him, pressuring him. Every time you know he's been in there, he finished them off in three or four rounds. I think after five rounds, he gets tired, he gets out, and he's not gonna know what to do after those later rounds. His power is not gonna be the same. His conditioning is not gonna be the same. So once he goes into the later rounds, he's gonna you know get frustrated, get tired, and I think that's where we could take advantage of.
So you feel you feel your experience taking them to the deeper yes. deeper waters uh -huh. will will be the difference. Yes, of there. course. The only thing I have to do is be very careful the first round. You know, be cautious, not let him get caught me with those big punches. Because I know if he catches me, he could hurt me. Because you know he has power. Yeah. He's strong. He's bigger. So I have to be really careful. But we're gonna you know we're gonna practice here in the gym. We're gonna do all those things not to get play into his fight and get caught. His last, you know, he, he mentioned early rounds of knockouts. His yeah. last fight, you saw his last yeah. fight, right? Yeah. Um, that, that was it from Costa Rica? Yeah, I think it was Costa Rica, Panama. Yeah, yeah. Panama. Yeah. Um, he, he, was, he was doing uh, yeah. doing a number on him and, until he got too confident. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, that's what I, I, you know, when he was using his distance, he was keeping on the outside, he was making a miss, you know, Gervata couldn't go in, but once he got, I don't know what happened, he got, he made a mistake and Gervonta cut him and finished In closing, what do you want to tell the fans? What do you want to tell everyone out there that's been uh, waiting for you to return? You know that, thank you for all the support that, you know, I'm here in the gym training. I was just waiting on a date. Uh, I was pushing for a fight. I wanted to fight, you know, three times this year. It couldn't happen, but I'm going to fight at least two times this year. And, you know, I just want to give the fans great fights. I want to give them the best fights. I was pushing to unify. Um, you know, I've been hearing that, you know, Jack Warrington said that I didn't want the fight. They never come and offer me that fight. If they would have come and offered me that fight, I would have accepted it. You know, he's saying that I said no. I I don't know where he's getting that from, but me, I never said no. I, I said I wanted to unify against Jack Warrington. I wanted the fight against Oscar Valdez, Gary Russell. Yeah. But you know, uh, I was just waiting for them to come and say, hey, you want the fight? Yeah. But nobody came and told me about those fights. Well, deep down inside, uh, I, 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 I'm sure you wanted those yes, fights. Right. Uh, Knowing the business of it, things are a bit complicated. Yeah. It's not like yeah. it's not like going to the store and picking. Yeah, I need this. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, the people that think it's, you don't want to fight, I like you know, I wish they were in our shoes. And then, like you said, it's not that, that easy that like you could go, hey, I want this. It, you have to. There's people you have to go through, and they go and they have to come back and accept the fight. It's not yet. You could just say, oh, I want to fight him, and that's it. It is it's really hard that you have to be like a certain level they have, they have to go through and then they come back to you and maybe they just, how's things with your dad i mean he's here right now he, he looks like you guys are gonna work right now yeah. uh, how's how's that come, how's the work coming along with your dad and how you know my dad's you know he's strong strong guy you know he comes every day even though he's feeling good he's really tired and everything he still comes to the gym and he's pushing us you know he's pushing us telling us what to do what to work on and what punches to throw so, you know depends on like on the, for every opponent and what, like if, let's say oh he's telling me oh you gotta fight like this you gotta prepare like this for this type of fighter if he, he thinks of another fighter he's like oh you gotta throw these punches and you know depends like right now we're focusing on trying to fight you know Tank Davis so he's telling me how to fight him what punches to throw to him and stuff like that like what's the, the key to, to win it against him all right there you have yeah. it Leo yeah. Santa Cruz won 26 uh, featherweight WBA champion. He'll be back in November. Yep, for sure in November we're gonna come back. Thanks.